Good morning everyone. So I'm playing with my Celestron 14. If you saw my previous videos, you must have noticed I put the Explore Scientific Refractor on the CGXL mount. So I was kind of, that CGXL mount for me is like a premium mount. So I wanted to actually take Explore Scientific Refractor out of that, put it back on the CGX mount, so I can use my CGXL mount for either RASA or C14. So that is the test today is all about. I want to make sure the combination of CGX and the Explore Scientific works okay. Also, I did put the C14 Edge HD on the CGXL mount again. And then I'm just making sure everything is good. So I was focusing, making sure the focus is good. I figured out actually the earth is actually very close to Uranus or in other words Uranus actually is very close to earth either way. So I thought maybe I should point out to Uranus and see how the planet is going to look like. Actually I have no idea how it is supposed to look like and actually the planet is in blue color so I do have a filter there so I am getting like some kind of an odd color like green. So I took the filter out and did the color adjustment in the sharp cap and it became like a blue color. It's not that great. That's what my impression was. So I kept taking the videos anyway. I, I took a couple of videos. So this is Kobe. Uh, we rescued him from the Dallas downtown like my daughter wants to actually rescue this guy, he was kind of cold and not eating and all that stuff. He was he was rescued by some rescue agency and he was waiting in a stall to get adopted for like more than a month. So he is uh, our watch dog, uh, actually watch cat. Uh, he is amazing guy. No one wants to adopt him because he's so big. He looks like a little tiger, but uh, we like him, right? I, I took a couple of videos to make sure like you know like three minute frames to make sure I can actually take the picture of and it did came out pretty well when I stacked the picture and I was looking at it uh, there is some kind of this brown color on the corner I don't know where that came from so this is actually my first picture of Uranus it is so far out out there and I was able to take a picture I was perfectly amazed so anyway I put the ES refractor back onto the CGX mount and to my surprise my PhD guiding started working really great. I didn't do much except go back and recalibrate the PhD. I wanted to actually take a picture of the heart nebula, the heart of the heart nebula. Uh, it's called Melot, Melot 15. There are like a bunch of stars there near the Melot 15. It looks like you know like somebody is holding like a torch. I kind of like the way the Mallet 15 looks like. I took heart nebula picture before. I actually never got details, proper details. And I saw a lot of pictures with like amazing details. So one of my wish list was uh, to take actually a good picture of the heart nebula, not necessarily the, heart, the entire heart, but the Mallet 15, which is the heart of the heart. He's, he's our second pet. This guy's name is Max. He's a Yorkie. He does pretty amazing things. Max, say hi. So this is um, so this is Nigel Honeycutt. So actually, we gave him the first name and last name. So anyway, he's an amazing guy. He won't talk much, but he will say hello. Yeah.